It's not in the book, though. Well, worth asking, that's out. Sir Clayne has got his first wicket in his 41st over of trying in this England innings. He certainly deserved one, make no bones about that. He's toiled away throughout the day. He's kept trying, he's finally got it, and it's Alex Stewart who's gone. And it's not an off spinner, it's the other one, call it the straight on it, the legger. But he doesn't read it, Alex Stewart, opts not to play dangerous. Skyline's in, the ball pitches, holds its own, just going straight on, it's an error of judgment. Skyscope, let's have a look. All telling, all revealing, dead eye from David Shepherd. dangerous not to play. Skyscope says a hit on off stump and it's Alex Stewart on his way back to the pavilion for 19, an error of judgment. Comes in at number seven. Pakistan have recognised it, four slips in there. He can just defend towards extra cover away from his body, pushing hard at the ball. They're all up, he's gone. Azeem Akram has struck, it's six down now for England, the pressure is mounting by the minute. Nick Knight just caught in front of those stumps, first delivery is faced. Temperament, technique, doesn't matter now, he's gone without scoring. Four slips in position, thinking about the ball that would be angled away and pitching towards the slips, not a bit of it. Akram balls the other one, it's coming in deadly, deadly straight, ball pitches outside off stump. He just hits him high, is that too high? He's in front of the stumps, but Skyscope will tell us where it is. Is it hitting the stumps? He's going over the top. Skyscope says, Eddie Nichols says otherwise. Oh my goodness me, it's a big, big no ball. Well, there's absolutely no consolation for Nick Knight anywhere here. Gone to his first ball on his way back into the dressing room. Tommy Cork is uh, certainly a fighter. Earlier in the day, his length was more variable. He seems to be getting it up there on a more consistent basis. It's a, a fine difference, but a fine tuning. Fred, I'm sure, of the confidence of having the wicket and, the, and of the situation out there at the moment. He's got him. Mr. Clayne has got Ian Ward now. Pakistan, a cock -a hoop It's all changed very, very quickly yet again. England collapsed in the first innings. It looks as though they're collapsing again now in the second innings. And all you will see around this ground now are Pakistan flags raised in the breeze in exultation. Devastating cyclone when batsmen are just in there to defend. Fielders around the back, he has it all his own way, and there's the bounce. That's why it's such a good test match wicket. Last day bounce for the spinner. And would you believe he's over the front line as well? For a cracking delivery, he gets the ball to bounce. It's Ian Ward. England under the cosh now, 230 for seven. Six wickets having gone down for 56. Andy Caddick's out there now, surrounded by Pakistani close fielders. Ah! Oh, he's bowled. Whoa! It's two and two for Sir Klain. Andy Caddick has no idea what's going on. He had plenty of people stood around him there to tell him what to do, if they've been prepared to offer him advice. But it's Sir Klain who is now becoming the king of Old Trafford as far as Pakistan are concerned. He's been patient all the way through Sackland. He's coming into his own now. Deadly against tail enders. Forget that he's an off spinner. He bowls so many deliveries that go the other way. This is an absolute jaffer to Caddick. Up in the air. He plays completely down the wrong line. The ball pitches. It hits off stump again. Look at Pakistan. Look at Sackland. The closing in and look at the crowd. The flags, the klaxons all there for everyone to see Pakistan very much in the ascendancy it's Andy Caddick who's on his way back it's Darren Goff who's on his way in oh. 
through the slips. Now, which end does Dominic Court want to be? There's your answer. What's Wacker's response going to be? Big shout. Not out, says Eddie Nichols. Wacker's not happy. Won't get those. Ball is going a long way. It's moving a long way. And Darren Goff is coming a long way forward as well. Hit him in line, but you'll have to look at where it pitched and where it should end up. Sun's very low. There'd be some dismay around this the ground if they all walked off and said, that's it. Oh, my God! Oh, he's given him this time. Dominic Court is a long way forward. They've been in defensive mode, England, and I'm sure that they've paid the price for that. It's Pakistan who whittled away, wheeled away, stuck at it, Sacklin, a marathon spell from him. It's a quicker delivery with the skyline in. Dominic Court defending. The ball is just going on straight. It's a straight ball, it's a quicker ball. Now Skyscope, what does it tell us? It's a hit, it's just clipping leg stump. Nine down. But it's another no ball. Now, I'm sorry, there is no excuse for this. What a turn, what a twist to the game. Well, I think that uh, might well have been pad than bat. Into the over though, wicket maiden. It's the other one, it's the ball that he got Hoggard's wicket with in the first innings, he's just pitched it wrong. Bat pad, the ball, he's just looping into the offside. And drops short. Let's have a look. Well, that's a drop catch. Could actually have been caught that bumble. It, it is bat pad, I think Pakistan were going up for the LBW, but you can see benefit to replay that he has got bat on it it does land it gets there I think Sacklin uh, was going for the catch he had words to say anyway good stuff that's a great catch what a magnificent catch Waka Yunus the catch of the Pakistan picks up the final wicket and Pakistan win this second test and level the series by 108 runs crowd come racing on but what a test match it's had everything it's been a brilliant game if there was a lid on this place it would have come off by now look at the scenes there Pakistan have played magnificently throughout this test match the crowd have gone absolutely wild you can see the Pakistan flags in the background the ground was completely engulfed with spectators Pakistan victorious in this second test match Sacklin, he's kept wheeling away from the Warwick Road end. He is dangerous against the tail end, especially. He's finished with four for four for 74. He's the hero. But look at these scenes magnificent scenes for a test match on day five, last session. Just hoping that Sacklin's all right. England players depressed, and I just wonder if they're going to sit back and just have a think about whether they got into a negative mode far too soon stem their natural game and that is dangerous as it's proved at T England were 196 for two with just 32 overs to go interestingly they lost wickets four wickets the fifth the sixth the seventh and the eighth for one run in 13 balls Well, enthralling stuff. This is what Test Cricket is all about. It's, it's a magnificent 